Welcome to Seller University. The product image is an important factor that affects a customer's buying decision. This video will teach you how to take attractive photographs. Tip 1. Take the photograph in an environment with sunlight. In shooting photographs, a suitable location would include natural light such as sunlight. We recommend a window side that does not let in bright light and a location where shadows are not easily made. If the sunlight is bright, make adjustments using curtains. When sunlight is used properly, it is easier to capture the true coloring of the product. In this image, there is plenty of light with minimal shadows. The photo was taken in good conditions. In this image, there is not enough light, causing the entire photo to be dark, and the shadows have become too strong. This brings us to tip two, prepare a white background. In this course, we will show you how to make a photography box using readily available materials. Utilizing a photographing kit as shown is also an easy way to take photos with a white background. Search Amazon.co.jp with these keywords. Photography box. Photography booth. Simple studio. Photographing kit. If you are building your own photography box, here are the materials. Once you have everything ready, set up the cardboard and build a box that fits the size of the product you want to photograph. Cover the side, back, and bottom panels that are to be the white background with white paper. In this example, foam boards for the side panels and white paper for the back and bottom panels are used. But in order to create a white background, any material that is readily available can be used, such as the white backside of posters or calendar pages. When the product is large, use large sheets of white paper as the background. Creating a curve by drooping it onto a table is the key. Tip 3. Adjust the white background using the white balance function on your camera. White balance is a camera function that adjusts the white in your photo regardless of the lighting condition. Colors will differ depending on lighting conditions and environment. Therefore, optimize through camera settings to replicate the true color of the product. First, try taking the photograph on the auto or default setting to confirm the quality. This is an example of a good photograph. It shows the product's true coloring. Depending on the camera mode or setting, the coloring can vary greatly, as in these bad examples. Actual photos should be taken and adjustments made for optimal mode or settings. Tip 4. Do not use the camera flash. As in this example, the flash can create unevenness in color, partial brightness due to light reflection, different coloring than the actual product, and create shadows. We strongly recommend photographing without using the camera flash due to the possibility that the true coloring of the product will not be captured. The last tip is to use a tripod so that the photograph does not blur. When photographing without a flash, photographs are more prone to blurring. Using a tripod is convenient for stability. This concludes the five tips on product image photography. We hope it was helpful for you. Please use these tips in photographing product images to capture the product's true appeal. Thank you for selling on Amazon.co.jp